everyone. Welcome back to the second part of the Azure func function session. I'm here with Adi. Adi, we saw Google Home. We saw a nice example with the watch. What's new? Yeah, so I brought a bunch of devices here, but, but before that, it's, it's a bit hot here is, in the is. studio I from know. all these lights. <laughs> uh, hey, Alexa, ask Azure Functions to turn down the heat. Okay, the temperature is okay. being set to a low key blue. All right, so what just happened is that we integrated uh, Alexa with Azure Functions, mm -hmm. and then Azure Functions called into Azure IoT Hub, and this oh, nice... <laughs> okay, so this happens she a lot, wants to help. right? Exactly. <laughs> Digital assistants are, are everywhere and they, they, they want to help. So I was saying that we called an Azure function, right? Mm -hmm. And the Azure function integrated with IoT Hub and that's how we got the, uh, the, our fake thermostat to, to, lower, okay. to lower the temperature here. Uh, so let's take a quick look on, on, In the background. on how that works, exactly. So here is the, uh, function def uh, the application, the skill definition for uh, for Alexa, and what we had to do is we had uh, to uh, put here in the configuration what's our backend, right? And our backend is this uh, is this function, this Azure function here, and then we get an we get the an intent from um, uh, from uh, <clears throat> from uh, the backend, right? And then we have here our function, function. exactly, and in this function we will see that we are calling, because there, there's no binding yet for, uh, uh, for uh, sending a cloud to device message from IoT mm -hmm. Hub, we had to use, uh, in, in Node.js, we had to use the SDK, the IoT Hub SDK here. Okay. And then we got the, the intent, which was lower the temperature, right? We said service client dot open uh, in, in the SDK, in the IoT SDK, and then we reached this case statement, and then we said, okay, the temperature is being lowered, right? And then we sent this uh, message to the Arduino saying, run cold. cold. Exactly. And the only thing that we needed to do next is to actually send the message to the IoT hub, mm -hmm. right? So we constructed the message and then we said, send, that's the device ID, Wink 1500, and that's it. And the IoT hub got the message. You saw here in the console, uh, the um, IoT hub device SDK running mm -hmm. on the Arduino. Okay and setting uh, that to a low-key blue, right? I guess it works the other way around as well. <clears throat> absolutely, absolutely. You can send messages and then... And the other way around, it's, it's even nicer because Azure Functions has a, has a binding for IoT Hub, mm -hmm. so you ca it can trigger on, uh, on IoT Hub messages, right? So okay. you don't have to import the SDK into the function anymore. You can simply say, I want to, bind, uh, to, to trigger on, on a new... IoT Hub message. Okay, that's exactly. interesting. And it's fast. <laughs> and, and this one is just uh, the Arduino code, uh, the SDK. Uh, so if we take a look here, um, this is uh, Arduino C++, right? And we connect to the Wi-Fi, and then uh, in the setup, we just set up the lights and everything. But the important bit is here, and we're calling the, um, the sample MQTT application, which is this one. We have a model. The thermostat. For the thermostat, and this model has a few actions. Run hot, run cold, and an interesting one, upgrade firmware, right? Of course, because every device that because comes, you exactly. need an upgrade. You get it out of the box, and there's, there's an update waiting for you. So let's see how, how we would implement um, a firmware update really quickly. So we have, we have a tool. Okay. Uh, it's written in Node.js, so it works pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's called IoT Hub Explorer. You can, of course, also call the APIs. You don't have to use the command line tool if, you, if you're building a product, right? Depends on your preference. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is simply calling, um, hey, this device, you should run, um, this device will get a message saying upgrade firmware, so then the device will decide what it has to do. And here I'm specifying a URL where, where to get the, uh, the, the image upgrade. from, exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. And now the message has been sent to IoT Hub it will now be consumed by the device here, and the device has started its firmware upgrade process. And I can which see, is, we can... <coughs> exactly, we get a really nice uh, green uh, flavor here. Um, cool, so this is a firmware upgrade. It's pretty pretty quick. Of course, you, you don't have to send to one device. There are, there are means in IoT Hub in which you query a bunch of devices, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, devices that have 
Um, the current firmware version is version 1.6, for example, and okay. only those devices should should accomplish this. So you can manage them as a group instead of exactly you can you separately. can manage them in uh, in bulk, mm -hmm. right? So um, the next right. thing that I wanted to show you is okay, that's all cool, but how how would I debug a function locally, right? Because I mean, not having IntelliSense, not having autocomplete here really mm -hmm. tells you the, the <laughs> right the, the how story. good a programmer how you good are. A programmer <laughs> you are, right? So um, I have another skill here in um, in the developer console in Amazon, and this other skill is called CryptoWatch. It's pretty much what we did in the first session where we asked for the price of Bitcoin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this. Uh, crypto uh, crypto watch skill is going to call this time it's not going to call an Azure function on the public endpoint but it's going to call this URL here and this URL here is is a public URL but that's going to tunnel into uh, into this laptop here over Angrok which is a service that does um, uh, so tunneling a direct highway to your laptop exactly exactly that so let me just exit here and show you. This is uh, Angrok running here on my laptop. Okay. So this is the endpoint, right? And this is Azure Functions, the, um, the local development um, experience with, with Azure Functions. Okay. Basically, what I, what I did here is, is just uh, call... Um, actually, we can, we can do that again. Uh, func host start, and then a parameter to, to say, we want to debug this with VS Code, so we can okay. attach a debugger. So once we have this up, now this uh, public URL that we defined for the Alexa skill is going to call into, into this function running on this laptop, okay. right? So if we take a look at this code, this code is really interesting, but then we basically hard code in the price instead of getting the price from the API, and then we return some response. Let's see what that response is. Um, so if we go into here, right, actually, I will just go into the terminal to see when the, when the function is going to be triggered locally, so let's see how this works. Alexa, ask CryptoWatch how much is a Bitcoin? There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, no problem. Let's see what we did wrong here. It's all right. This is this is development. Okay. And live demos. Exactly, live demos. So there was a problem. We're trying to connect to some API. Probably we lost internet connectivity. Not sure. So let's try again. Let's just try again. Alexa, ask CryptoWatch how much is a Bitcoin. The current price of one Bitcoin is over nine thousand. Wait, what? That's even more than Cortana makes. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Our uh, next version will uh, will be funnier than the, the the previous version of that. So that's how you. Oh, by the way, and I mean you can totally put a breakpoint here if you say start debugging. Let's see. Right, you can do this, and we okay. can go again. Alexa. Ask CryptoWatch how much is a Bitcoin. And we hit. We basically, yeah, we, <laughs> we, we stopped two clouds midway through, right? Okay. <laughs> the, the Alexa in, in Amazon and in Azure, because we have a breakpoint here and that we can uh, maybe say over 9,005 and then continue. But probably the timeout will will occur, unfortunately. Uh, it, Alexa is not going to wait for us to, to you know, fix Either the breakpoint. You can go wild with anything that exactly. you want. Exactly. So imagine the possibilities that, that you can, you can mm -hmm. do by, by simply calling your own function locally and then debugging everything here uh, as, as you wish. Good. Thank you so much. And cool. see you in the third part. Yes. Bye-bye.